Our land is washing away, so we need to slow the flow of water before our creeks are wide and dry and our land is leached. As you can see, our land is undulating and all our precious rain is lost as it washes down the hills, straight down into the creeks and off the land. Our soil is sandy. We need to take action to slow the flow before our home becomes an arid wasteland. So after several failed attempts at building this dam by hand, we've decided to bring in the big guns. Well, bigger than our shovels anyway. We want to bring life and vitality back to the land we love. So we're working together to give our land a whole lot of loving. But our land is not the only one needing a loving hand. We have a broody hen that's having some overheating issues, six new piglets, and a sow who's overdue to farrow. I'm so excited, I haven't driven an excavator in years, but we've only got an hour of daylight left. It's just enough time to collect some rocks for the dam tomorrow though. And a little bit more of a play of course. This is now a chicken nursery. Chookity chook chook! Chook chook! Chook 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 chook! Chook 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 chook! Chook 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 chook! There you go, hello darling. What are you doing? She was having a sleep. I was, I was, I was, I was concerned that she was not there, but she's there. We're keeping a careful watch on these two broody hens. We have one healthy hatchling, one dead, and several unhatched eggs. You look like your big sister. With the rain coming, we need to create a new shelter to ensure they're safe and dry. It'll also serve to keep them cooler, which may be our hatching problem. So, that's the job for tomorrow. Did we miss one? Yeah, sneaky. Sneaky little chook chook. Come on chook chook. Come on chook chook. This way. Good chook chook. I just snuck out for another quick play on the digger. Excavator, trailer, rocks, dam builders. Big thank you to Lisa, our very good friend for the commentary in this video. Lisa visits us to help out every year. Got a few rocks out of the ground that have been a bit annoying because when you try and mow you always hit them and they make great foundations for the dam wall. So this is the second load, got this done. We're gonna head on over to the dam now. You, um, can you guide me back a bit, love? Just hang on a second, I need to see over there. Whoa. We're at the side where this is the dam wall that needs to be strengthened. We had a little bit of an integrity fail with all the rain that we had one part of the wall was starting to go, it was getting washed out. So you can see Rob on the top of the hill up there, he is going to be pushing a lot of rocks, different various sizes, down the hill to the back end of this damn wall to thicken it, strengthen it. And uh, you can see the horses have been across here this morning. So this is the dam so far. We've done a great job by hand. It's probably about four foot high <laughs> so far, but 
the excavator up there is going to be building it up with the rocks and the soil. But I tell you what, it's holding a lot of water already. How long did it take you to build by hand what's here at the moment, Nick? Days and days and days. <laughs> Two shovels, one quad and a trailer. Grit, guts grit. and determination, a lot of hard work. A little bit elbow grease. <laughs> oh, where do you buy that from? Just pull it out your ass. <laughs> <laughs> so here's the before shot, before machinery after hard labour. Bob is in his absolute element playing with the new toy up there. Yeah. He is just loving it. Moving dirt and rocks and having a good old time and yeah. thinking about things. You can see the thinking on his face when he's doing it, can't you? Yeah, it's very strategic. And the way you can shake the soil off the rocks and yep. place the rock place over them. there, push it, and then come back and pick the soil up. Pretty mm -hmm. cool. I know. That takes skill. Yeah. He said it came back to him. Because he's done this before, right? Yeah, like riding a bike. Jump back on and off you go. But anyway, I'm excited because we've got a lot of rain coming, so we really needed to get onto this pronto. Yeah. And thank you again to Jin Jin Hire for uh, letting us use their excavator for the day. They were beautiful people, by the way. I, if I ever needed an excavator and lived up this way, I most certainly would be going to them. Absolutely. So knowledgeable too. Yes. Mm. Yes, very much yeah, so. and they really love what they do. You can just hear it in their voice. It's a beautiful family business. Isn't yeah, it? yep, definitely. Apart from the dog that jumped in the car that wanted to come <laughs> home with us. We did. We nearly took their dog as well as their excavator. <laughs> <laughs> hey, he's guard dog. Oh, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's digging today, even Buddy. <laughs> We are down at the spring, and this is why we're doing all this work. This is a natural spring that uh, Nick and Bob found on their property. Water is absolutely precious when you're running a muck off grid, and they have made a small dam over on the far side of the screen. When you're living off grid, it's hard work, but it is definitely rewarding. Look at what has been created so far it's absolutely beautiful the water lilies and the color of the flowers on it and the bulrushes and you can definitely tell this is very healthy life-giving water apparently this part of the, the little dammed up area is about waist deep on me but I'm short so they're hoping to Build the wall up, make it stronger, make it thicker so that it's not going to uh, erode when it rains and to allow more water to pool in this area so they have uh, a fair bit more water resources. You just need water so much out here. And although it looks very, very green because we've had a lot of rain, a couple of weeks ago it was brown and it was dust. It's just amazing how this land can just recover little bit of water and it's beautiful and green again. I never felt a kind of love like this before. You took all the worries from my mind. Darling, please forgive me if I stay a little I can't look away from those brown eyes And if we settle down 
we don't have to settle down Please don't be afraid of all the things that could go wrong And we can take our time and we may change our mind But I can tell a good thing when a good thing comes along So Nick, I saw you two guys standing up there planning Yes. What's going on? So it's a long hike from way up there to here <laughs> with the soil and rock. So mm -hmm. it's going to keep pushing the soil forward, push the rocks down, mm -hmm. push the soil down the hill. Yep. And then bring the excavator down and put it all onto the dam. Oh my gosh. So step one, step two. Time we borrow, time our children to us lend. Here today, but gone tomorrow, like a spark fly in the wind. We all look up to our fathers, all our lives is all is right. A bit hairy. Whoa, don't go too much further. We all live on time we borrow, time our children to us lend. Here today, but gone tomorrow, like a spark fly in the wind. What do you want to eat? You want to eat? Hey? Look, Mum. Oh, she's still sitting on the eggs. This little chick's strong and healthy, but we're not holding out much hope for these final eggs. If you're wondering what bird's making that sound, it's a channel-billed cuckoo, and they're another problem. Check this out. Being such a large bird, these cuckoos will lay their eggs in the nest of Australian magpies, pied carawongs, and members of the crow family. Unlike many of the other cuckoos, the young birds do not evict the host young or their eggs from the nest, but simply grow faster and demand all the food, thus starving the others. Now to collect the chook house.
not very successful. I have no, no idea. Or maybe I thought I'd just stand on it. See how that goes. That's not safe. If you fall backwards, that's going to spin your back. Not good now. Yeah. Try now then. So why have we brought this down here? These chickens are getting wet in their little pen box. There we go. It's in. It's not a designer tractor like this one, but it'll do the job. We all live on time we borrow. Time our children to us lend Here today, but gone tomorrow Like a spark fly in the wind We all look up to our fathers Whoa. All our lives is all is right And we are So Nick and I had a uh, meeting, a health and safety meeting, and the management decided, well, Nick said he's getting too bloody dangerous. So I'm pulling the excavator up and we're going to attack this from down in the creek. But first, I want to fill the trailer up with some dirt and take it down there with the trusty Amarok. Now I'm going to take it just very gently down here because I haven't got much grip in the tyres and there's a lot of weight in the back and uh, she's starting to go. Ah oh, shit! No! 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 Holy shit! Oh. I've got to get Miss Massey. Here comes the cavalry. I've got to be really careful here. I've got to pull the car and the trailer without the you sort of sliding further into the creek. Ah, oh, that ain't working. Right in front of us, so long buried in the snow. Yes, here we are. Let's pull it back. Shining down, burning bridges.
And it's at this point we realise that any further would result in damage to the trailer, and that's not what we wanted. So, unfortunately, we had to dump the load right here. Hey Nick, this storm's really blowing up, hey love? Yeah, we better get these chickens under cover pronto. Let's hope the dam's safe. You know, we get a kick out of creating the things we need from the resources we have. We live remotely and simply, but we never go without, nor do our animals. Each one is cared for, comfortable and happy, just like us. I'll tell you what, it's a fine job. Okay. I literally missed that crack of lightning by a split second. Okay, I'll wait. So step one's done, pushing the soil and the rocks down. Step two, create a beautiful dam wall. So Bob's coming in from a different angle so we can start picking up the rocks and moving them closer to where we need them to be. It's just a lot safer of an option. It's what a lot of the planning was going on up on the top of the ridge there before.
finally time to get some dirt on them rocks. We all live on time we borrow, time our children to us lend. Here today, so come to my floor like a spark fly. Time is really against us here, we're battling. We've got to have the excavator back by 3.30. It's 2.30 now, and it's over an hour to get there. So we've still got to load the excavator up and get all this finished. So I just don't think we're gonna get as far as we really want to. I just, I just hope it doesn't come back and bite us in the ass. Here today, but gone tomorrow, like a spark. Ernie Gertie has a nest. We might have another batch of piglets tomorrow. Hey, Evie, you're okay. You're all right. Just me, girl. It's okay. It's all right. Let's go somewhere far away As if all I have is you And I'll be just fine Going, Eddie Gertie. Got your nest ready? You be? You're all right. Good girl. Here today, but gone tomorrow, like a spark fly. i 
Sundays are on their way Forever's how long they'll stay Brighter days are on their way And then it rained. And rained. And rained. Until our new dam wall was washed away. So, we're back to shoveling dirt. Brighter days are on their way. Forever's our own, they'll stay. And they're on their way Chasing sunsets in the sky Won't let these moments pass us by Fly, be free Take my hand, don't be afraid You ride every day to Binge watch, binge watch. Don't watch that one. No, no. It's a playlist. Hit the fucking playlist. <laughs> yes. If you like this video, you're gonna love this one. Hit the playlist.